This is uh, just a talk on no budget animation tools for drawing. Um, there's a lot of people out there that use uh, Paint, Windows Paint, and they do some pretty good stuff. But I would not use Windows Paint because it doesn't have very good anti-aliasing. What I would suggest is probably using something like GIMP. Um, another program you could use is Draw Plus, the starter edition. Or you could use Inkscape. I'm not quite sure how well paint.net would work, but it's still it's a good program. Now these programs, the following programs I've never used, it's my paint and Krita. But you know, you're just going to make some drawings and export them out as PNGs and then you're gonna try and animate them later. So for voice capture, if you're going to do voiceover, I suggest Audacity. Now if you don't have a microphone, say uh, I'm working on a laptop um, or you, and you're working on a desktop, you can also uh, use a tablet or a smartphone and you can download an app on either the app stores um, and record using your phone or your tablet and then make sure you save it as an mp3 and then just take it into your computer and you could use that and then you can use Audacity to cut it up if you need to make p things shorter. Now, if you're going to do voiceover, I suggest you uh, use Papagayo. And for animation, you can use Synfig. You can also try to animate in Pencil 2D, but I have, I've have i tried it, but I can't, can't figure out how to do uh, painting in that. And for putting your video together, I suggest you use Windows Movie Maker. It's free. Now, there's limitations to Windows Movie Maker. There's no uh, layers, and you don't have multiple soundtracks. You can easily do animation in Synfig and then import them into um, Windows Movie Maker. If you check out my channel, you'll be able to see how some of this is done um, using Synfig and GIMP. And I'm going to make a few more uh, tutorials on how to use some of these products.